Welcome to the series of training for BMC Helix Business Workflows. This is my fourth video in this series. My name is Vaibhav Wadekar. I am Lead Support Architect in BMC Software. Today I am going to talk about how can we leverage approval functionality within BMC Helix Business Workflows. Let's dive in. This training covers below agenda. Approval Overview types of approvals, how to configure approval flow, how to configure approval mapping and at the end we're going to take a look at the demo. Let us look at the approval overview. So in the below diagram you can see that this is the approval being process end to end. In the case is in the assigned status and it triggers the approval. First it will check for the self approval rules. If it does not match the self approval rules it goes and checks for the approval flows and if the approval flows does not match so whatever the approval mapping that you have done if no approval found the case will exit the approval process so let us take an example you have created a case uh, with self-help matching criteria for example if the particular end user order a service and the order total is fifty dollars and the use case is Let's say any item uh, up to $50, the end user will be able to self approve that request. So, once the end user submitted the request and it matches that conditions, it's going to check the self approval. Okay, it matches the conditions. Now it will execute the self approval process, and then based on that, the case is automatically got approved and the case status will change based on the approval mapping. Let's take another example. Let's say the order that the end user requested is more than $50, let's say $200 or $300, which is above the $50 criteria. So in this case, we have defined the approval flow that it should go to the requester manager. In this case, what will happen once the case is in the assigned status and if the order total is greater than $50, let's say $200, it will go to the second steps. It will check for the approval flow if it found okay uh, uh, this requester manager is configured or however the approval flow is configured it will go and execute that approval flow and the case uh, will be pending for an approval so once the requester manager or whatever that we have configured within the approval flow approves the request the case status will change uh, based on the approval outcome so on my screen you can see that how do we configure the approvals within BMC Helix business workflows? Let us look at the persona based approach. For example, an administrator will configure the approval based on the requirement. And then the case business analyst will then create approval mapping. Like once it is approved, what will be the case status? Or once the case is rejected, what will be the next step? Or if there is no approval, what will be the case status? Then the case agent who is going to create a case, update the case and then once the case is submitted, it will go for an approval. The approver is the person who will receive the approval request and then he will be able to see the request details and based on he can approve or reject the request. Once the request has been approved or reject, the case status will be automatically updated and then the case agent will close the case. This is the end to end flow from the case initiation until the case is closed. Let us look at the types of approval. So there is self approval, which is the automated approvals based on the expression that we have defined for the matching criteria, the approval will be triggered and based on the expression, it will be automatically approved. And there is a second type, which is approval flows which can be user driven or a manual approval. So on my screen you can see the self approval with process and without process. So with process basically it evaluates additional expression by running a process to match the additional expression. So in this case once the case triggers the approval it matches the expression and change the status of the case from assigned to pending status. Then the case assignee manager will be notified and once the once you approve the case, the case status will be changed based on the approval outcome. And then there is a second, which one is the without process and self-approval. Basically, it does not involve a process. So 
so when the case is triggered from assign it matches the expression and the case will be auto approved and the case status will be changed based on the approval outcome the second type of approval is approval flows it determines whether a specific person or a group of users who need to approve a case so in this diagram you can see that i define approval flow uh, and within the flow group whether it should follow the flow one or flow depending upon the expression or the matching criteria that i have defined i can also define here the request should go to the manager or uh, and based on certain condition it will go to the director and vp in that sort of thing or you can define if the operational category matches the facilities it will go to the facilities head and if it matches the operation category uh, it will go to the operational head that kind of magic criteria that you can define within approval flows so within approval flows there are two terminologies which we use one is flow group and another is flow so flow group is nothing but a parent approval process for a specific group or a chain of approvals and then within flow you can configure the flow as how do you want your flow of approval should be whether it is a level of approvals whether it is a general approval like a group approval or it should follow two or three stages of approval that you can define within the flow let us quickly look at the demo for self approval without process and then we're going to look the approval flows within that general approval with the process so let us look at how do we configure the self approval so i logged into bmc helix business workflows innovation studio so within this i went to administration section here i can see the approvals within approval approval configuration from the left breadcrumb I, we want to select the approval for the case so i selected this and this is predefined that is comes with the out of the box so i have not made any changes to it within self approval i define the criteria uh, such as if the person order a mouse or a keyboard and if the category is equal to it the request will be self approved so this is how we created the self approval you can even select a process if you really want to so i selected here the sample self approval process other thing that i would like to show you what is the approval mapping that we have defined like what will be the case status once the self approved approved the request for example in order to trigger the approval so first i'll go to case management case approval here you can define the approval mapping so here you can see that once the status uh, to trigger an approval is assigned so once the case is in assigned status it is go and check whether any approval rules matching criteria that can be applied to the case and once the approval has been found the case will be put into the resolve status so in case for our self approval so once we put the case status to assign it will be automatically set it to resolve let us see if it does that so i am going to create a case right here for a user as i said i'm just going to say order wireless mouse and i'm going to select if you see right here i'm going to select the category tier as it i'll just get this assigned and i'm going to save this case in order to trigger an approval i'll put the case status to assign can see that the moment we set the case status to assign it automatically set the case to the resolve and in the history you can see that it matches this criteria and put this case to the the resolve status this is the example of self approval now we have looked at the self approval let's just take a look at uh, how do we create a general approval with the process in order to create a approval process i logged into bmc helix innovation studio then workspace section i selected the case management library within the case management library we can go to the processes and i created a copy of the existing process and then i just made a copy of it for example this manager approval here you can see that in the palette i dragged the approval process i created this three input variables case record approval status and final status you can see that the variable id that i have defined for case record which is input and the type as record 57000 same thing i created approval status 
to capture the approval status and the text and the variable id is 57020 and the final status uh, i set it as a variable 57030 as a text input once you do that uh, you can call this process within the approval flows i will show you that how so now once we have done that i'll go to the administration section within approvals i'm going to go to the approval configuration within here i'm going to select the approval flows and here in the approval flows you can see that the approval flow that i've created is the new general flow and then within that my qualification is category one is equal to payroll and the approval that it should go to is Elizabeth and it should use this uh, process for an approval matching criteria. Let us take a look. So in my screen, you can see that I'm going to create a case right here. I'm going to put the category one as payroll. In order to trigger an approval, I will put this case status to assign. You can see that the case status changed from assigned to pending approval and from here you can see that there is one pending approval and if you click on here you'll see that Elizabeth Peters is the person who needs to approve this request. Let's move to the references section. So within this section you can see that we have pretty good documentation about each step. Watch this references along with this video that I made. Hope you found this information useful. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.